Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Oh, Mr. Rando. Oh, yes, yes. He's conscious now, and the doctor says you can see him for a few minutes. Right this way, please. Yeah, thank you. You say his name is Decker? Yeah, and that's what he called himself while he was working for me. Uh, say, Miss Ellison, do you think I'd better have the police send someone over here yet? Oh, no, I hardly think so, Mr. Rando. He can't possibly be moved for some time yet. Is there any danger of Decker not pulling through? The doctor wasn't so sure yesterday. Well, I think it's safe to say he'll recover all right. Here we are. Well, how's the patient feeling now? Better, thanks. Good. I've got a visitor for you. Visitor? Come right in, Mr. Randall. Hello there, Decker. Huh? Uh, don't you know me? I, I can't say as I do. Oh, come on now. This is no way to get out of things, Decker. What do you mean? Anna, don't be ridiculous. You know well enough that... Just to... a minute, Mr. Randall. The patient only regained consciousness a short time ago. He claims to be... What did you say your name was? Dugan. Daniel Dugan. Dugan? Those people wouldn't let me talk. Said I must be quiet for a while. How can I be when they say I'm out west and only last night I was in Baltimore? Baltimore? What I can't figure out is what happened. You mind if we talk, Miss Ellison? Oh, certainly not, but I'll have to stay in the room. That's perfectly all right. Now, look here, Decker. I mean, Dugan. You claim you were in Baltimore last night? I can't figure out what happened. I remember turning the cargo over to the zoo official. Cargo? What cargo? That shipment I brought up from South America. What are you talking about? Oh, I got a marvelous collection of birds this trip. I never saw such parrots as we found in the interior. The only unusual animal was a black panther. And did we have a time bagging that baby? Yeah. What's the uh, last thing you remember? I remember turning the shipment over to the authorities. Then I got my check. I had to go back to the waterfront to check with the captain of the boat about... It's funny, I... I don't believe I even got to him. You uh, don't know what happened to you? The way I feel, I... I'm... I must have been run over by a trolley car. You're sure you don't know me? Can't say as I do. What is your name? Randall. Randall? Hmm. The name's familiar. Oh, I know. Sure. My brother used to work for a man called Randall. You any relation to the fellow who owns the Randall Brothers Circus? The relationship is pretty close. I happen to own that circus. No. You don't say. Have you heard from Tim Dugan lately? Last I heard of him, he'd gone out west. Mr. Randall? Uh, yes. I'm afraid we'll have to let the patient rest now. Oh, but... Uh, please, I... please, nurse. Just another few minutes. I'm sorry. Doctor's orders. You'll come back, Randall. Please do. Something's happened. I, I, I've got to get it straightened out. I, I don't seem to know anyone around here. I... I'll be back. All right, Miss Ellison, I'm ready. Now, get a little rest. And if you want anything, ring this bell. Well... What do you think? No, I don't know what to think. 
this man is really Daniel Dugan, or... He obviously doesn't know yet what's happened to him. What does the doctor say? Either the man is unbelievably clever, or he's actually suffering from amnesia. Amnesia? Loss of memory. That would explain it. But why should he think he's someone else? Someone I know of? I thought when people lose their memory, they, they just forget who they are. Well, that's right. But this man's pretending to be someone else. Well, isn't it possible that he might have been suffering from amnesia before this accident? You mean, uh, as Decker, he didn't know anything about his past? That's it. And this accident has taken him back to what happened before he became Decker. Well, in that case, he, he wouldn't remember any of his life as Decker. That's it exactly. Oh, well, I think I'd better talk to the doctor. Well, I'll take you downstairs, then. Here's the elevator. In floor, please. The doctor is busy, but if you'll wait, I'll send him to you as soon as he's finished his round. Thank you. You've been very kind. Oh, not at all. Main floor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll leave you here. I'll be in the waiting room. Thank you. Oh, but now, listen, young lady. We've just got to see this Mr. Bump and Jerry. Well, what on earth are you two doing around here? Well, hello, sir. We didn't expect to run into you. Hello there, Mr. Randall. Hello, son. Well, we thought we'd like to see Decker. Is he conscious yet? Uh, he's conscious. Gee, Mr. Randall, you, you said that kind of funny. Has anything happened? He's going to get well, isn't he? Uh, he'll get well. Uh, what's up, Randall? He doesn't seem to know who he is. You mean... He didn't know me, and he doesn't even seem to know who Decker is. Does, does he? Well, can he talk at all? Oh, yes. yes uh, I guess he's in pretty much pain, though. Is he? Ah, oh, gee, Mr. Randall, tell me about him. Is he my uncle? Your uncle? What on earth makes you ask that, Jerry? Well, I... Well, we... Yesterday, Bumps and me, we came down here, and the doctor had just taken off his bandage, and he was unconscious, didn't know us, but... But when we saw him, you know, without the bandage, he looked like my uncle. Yeah, I don't know what to think. I, I'm most crazy, I guess. Yeah, that's true, Sam. The boy's hardly slept all night. I, I thought he'd never get through with his work this morning. He, why, he got so upset. I... Yeah, but, uh, but what made you think? What made you be so sure it was your uncle? This picture. See? Patsy's father sent it to me. Dad used to have one like this of Uncle Dan. I, I remember it all right. Mm. Well, it looks like Decker, all right, without his beard. You see, it, it's just got to be him. Aw, oh, gee, Mr. Randall. Well, I, I guess I'd better tell you, too, what's happened. Well, it's nothing serious, I hope. No, no, I I saw him right after he regained consciousness. You did? Uh, he didn't know me, though he'd heard of me. He claimed his name is Daniel Dugan. I knew it. I knew it. Danny Dugan. But... But how could he have been Decker so long and, and not know anything about it? Well, I understand that after a person has had... Uh, uh, what's the right word for uh, that? Amnesia. Yeah, that's it, amnesia. I understand that when they once get back their memory, they forget everything that's happened in between. Yeah, I'm waiting to talk to the doctor now, but I think you're right, Bumps. Gee, then you couldn't hold a person responsible for anything they did that was wrong if they didn't know what they were doing, could you? Well, I... Uh... Well, now, you just stop worrying, Jerry. You know Mr. Randall will do everything he can that's fair. Yes, I, I know, but... Oh, uh, well, I'll I... tell you what I will do, Jerry. I'm going to call the police station and see if they've gotten hold of Lorenz yet. We'll do everything we can to catch that man. He may know more about Danny Dugan than we think. Well, anyway, the money wasn't on Decker. Uh, uh, I mean, Dugan. So it goes to show Lorenz was the real thief. He sure was. I just know my uncle didn't want to do such a thing. You think Lorenz could have hypnotized him or something? Well, hardly, but he may have had some way of forcing Decker, uh, your uncle, to do what he wanted. You know, Bumps and I said we thought Decker was kind of afraid of Lorenz. Mm. Well, if you two will excuse me, I'll make that phone call. We've got to get Lorenz now. I'll be back in a minute. I just know my uncle isn't a criminal. Yeah, now don't you worry, Jerry. When they get Lorenz, we'll learn how all this happened. Yeah. You'll see. Are you the two gentlemen that are waiting to see... Mr. Dugan? Yes. Can we see him now? If you'll come upstairs with me. The doctor says you may go in for just about five minutes. Gee. Uh, Mr. Randall was with us. He just went to make a phone call. And that's all right. I'm sending the doctor right down to him. I'll have him tell Mr. Randall where you are. Well, thank you, thank you, nurse. Uh, do we take the elevator? Yes, step right in. Third floor, please. Is Mr. Dugan going to be sick long? He's had a pretty bad accident. He'll be up and around in about a month. A whole month in bed? Well, that's not so long after being almost killed. Third floor. Here we are. First door on the left. Now, try not to get the patient excited. Can I go right in? Oh, yes, of course. Hello there, Mr. Dugan. Well, you're pretty popular this morning. I've got a couple of more visitors. 
Hello. Hello. Well, uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm Bumps with the Randall Brothers Circus. Bumps. Bumps. Of course. Sure, I saw you when you and Tim were... Sure thing. I... Gee, I'm glad to see an old friend. Your boy? No, no, Danny. Uh, this is Jerry. Jerry? Uh, Tim's boy. No. No, I, I can't believe I, it. I'm Jerry Dugan, all right. What is this? Tim's boy's only a baby. What are you telling me? This is a poor kind of a joke to play on a sick man. We're not playing a joke. Well, Danny, you think you're feeling well enough to, to talk? <laughs> For heaven's sake, tell me what this is all about. Well, no, 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 just take it easy. <clears throat> Well, you see, uh, you've evidently lost your memory for some time. I've been sick, you mean? A long, long time, I guess. Uh, much longer than you realize. For heaven's sakes, man. Tell me, what has happened? Well, we don't quite know, but it's been years now. I can't believe it. Years. Years dropped right out of my life. I, I haven't just come back from South America? No, I'm afraid not, Dugan. But where have I been? Not in a hospital all this time. No. Golly, it... It must be funny. Come here, son. You say you're Jerry Dugan? Yes, sir. Are you with the circus, too? I sure am. So your dad's back in the circus business. Funny thing. I thought he'd given it up. Well, no, dad not uh, back. Well, Jerry, no, never mind now. I, I think Dugan's had quite enough for one day. What do you mean? What is it? You'd better finish as long as you've gone that far. Well. Out with it, boy. What is it? Dad died just a few weeks ago. No. Died. Uh, Tim, I... Well, now, he, now uh, just take it easy, old man. And this is his boy, Jerry. I'd begun to think I never would find the Uncle Dan. So, you're working with the circus. Well, son, as soon as I get on my feet, I'm going to take care of you. I'm sorry, but you've already been here more than five minutes. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, of course, nurse. Well, we'll go. How long do you play in this town? Oh, another couple of days. Oh, we'll be back. Tomorrow? You bet. And can I bring Rags? Who's Rags? M my dog. Oh, of course. Your dog. Hmm. No wonder. I, I don't know about your dog. Or you. Or, or Tim. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Uncle Dan. Thank you.